Just a few days before his first regular season game with the Browns, Deshaun Watson spoke with the media today. He would only answer football questions, so he did not discuss anything related to the alleged conduct that got him suspended for the first 11 games of this season. News 5's Cameron Justice joins us live from Berea. So, Cam, what did the QB talk about? Yeah, Delon, Deshaun Watson chose not to answer those questions about his suspension. Instead, he wanted to focus on the impact that he's going to be able to have for the Cleveland Browns as he returns to the field. I understand that you guys have, uh, you know, a lot of questions, um, but with my legal team and my clinical team, um, there's only football questions that I can really address at this time. Watson opened his first news conference since the NFL handed down an 11 game suspension by making it clear he'd only be talking football and by thanking those who kept him ready. I also want to thank the Browns organization, the ownership, uh, my teammates in the locker room, all the coaching staff for all the support that they had for me, uh, especially my time away. I also want to thank all the Cleveland fans in the city of Cleveland for you know, embracing me, but also uh, helping me adapt to the community. Watson hasn't played in a regular season game in nearly two years following numerous allegations of sexual misconduct made by women during his time with the Houston Texans. And that time away from the field, from sitting out to being traded to the Browns and then being suspended for violating the NFL's personal conduct policy, that may make the transition to the field more of a challenge. There'll be some rust to knock off. Um, it is football, which he's done his whole life, so um, you know, hopefully he knocks it off quickly, you know, but I, I just, you know, have expectations that there'll be some rust. But his teammates say they've seen the ability he's shown during practice and are anxious to see it on the field. Deshaun Watson, uh, you know, he's just a great quarterback, um, does a lot of things well. I mean, with the accuracy we alluded to earlier, um, throws a great ball, easy to catch. So I guess uh, a different, it'll, it'll be a different feel in the game, and that's what I'm excited about. And while Watson has needed to focus on off-field issues, like attending the mandated therapy sessions in order to be reinstated, he's also been focusing on making sure he can help the team have a smooth transition from quarterback Jacoby Brissett. My biggest thing when I first got back in the building is hearing how Jacoby talked to him. Um, and, and hearing how they watch film, hearing how, you know, Amari and DPJ and, and D-Bell and all the other receivers and tight ends talk to Jacoby, what they're seeing. And then whenever my opportunity came for this week to, you know, step into that starting role, you know, I, I didn't want to really change anything too much. Yeah, for the time being, Deshaun Watson does not plan to answer any more questions about his suspension. He's going to keep focusing on football, though, and that starts on Sunday in Houston against his former team, the Texans. Live in Berea, Cameron Justice, News 5.